This is the part you want to cut out and put on Twitter. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to an episode. Lo, you guys been asking for it. A puss. I, I have no muscles here. I have no muscles. I, I have no muscles here. I have no muscles. I, I have no muscles here. My turn now, boy. Douche. Uh, that's a <laughs> So this ex-Muslim has been doing some concerning stuff, frankly. I, I mean, I'm not gonna do that. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna make my mouth filthy with this. At first, I just thought he was mentally handicapped. <laughs> but upon closer inspection, I concluded that he was just a victim of anencephaly. That's right, being born with part of a brain. The remainder I have concluded, in my professional opinion, is filled with poo. That's right, now before you guys say, yo, there must be something worse in there. Hang on just a minute, yeah? I've got proof. Incest is okay, you said. Incest is okay. No, I've never said that either. So if two sisters or if two brothers have incest sexual relationship, there's nothing, I, I can't see anything wrong with it, right? Well, there is uh, actually nothing wrong with it, yeah. <laughs> Why you always freaking lying? Why you always lying? Why you always lying? No, I never said that either. Why you always freaking lying? I said to Ali Dawa, he asked me, do you think it's okay for a, for the father and the son to have sex? I yeah. said, if there was no harm to society, oh. the individual. Oh, no harm already, to like, society. Whoa, well, like, hey, yo. No! Yeah, so there you have it, bro. And my second proof is the immense amount of trap gas that seeks an escape with every move this guy makes. So forth. Because that would imply <coughs> you are a <coughs> You're an question. So Aipos has been dodging Muhammad Hijab for quite a while now. So to confront his Islamophobia and hate preaching, Muhammad Hijab had to adopt a slightly different style. With the help of Adam Saleh and Slim, Hijab decided to pay Apus a surprise visit. So we have, we have a friend, we have a friend of ours who's gonna come and you know talk to talk to all of us. And uh, he's because he, I want him to like be able to ha like who who is is he going to join exchange us like words with you as well. So we kept our side muted, <laughs> and we had a nickname so he wouldn't suspect anything and scurry away. And then it was time for the big reveal. Because you don't believe in it, you are also followed and persecuted for that. So it is completely normal that somebody who leaves this bar, whose entire life was defined by the fears of the No! Uh, we, we have our friend here who's more on our... I feel like he's way more... It's not about Mohammed Hijab. No, it's not about him. It's not about that. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Don't be scared. 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 It worked like a charm, yeah? His life flashed before his very eyes, which made him more depressed. And naturally, the guy got triggered. Let me. Well, Apus, listen. I'm telling you right in front of you. Uh, you're obviously getting fr uh, triggered. But Hijab, Adam and Slim kept their cool and as you guys know science has come a long way. Yeah, so I managed to track the one brain cell in his brain when he was getting triggered and I have some exclusive footage right here. C calm down, calm down. Let's, you seem triggered, you seem emotionally unstable. Listen, 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 that's all fine, that's all fine. As the debate went on, it was clear that Apos had nothing to bring to the table. In fact, the only challenge Hijab faced was by the cheap, bro by the cheap broadband callers. 21st, I'm not saying that there's no way. Yes, sorry, these people keep calling me. I'm calling from internet service provider. Would you be interested in providing the service or the internet service providing? The I really don't know why they keep calling Yanni. What do you mean? Uh, like that. Sorry, I'm just so not. Sorry. Yeah. I'm upsetting. And Apos was desperately trying to Google his answers, but even Google knows a lost cause when it sees one. If you if you believe that this book is from other than God, then please try and find it. Oh, you would have found in it many contradictions. So there's sure a challenge there to try and find contradictions in the Quran. I have falsified the Quran. Yeah, it's fine. Do it now. That's fine. The inimitability challenge is to try and produce something like the Quran, which means that it has to go within the scope of. 
as it progressed he realised he was getting buried. So he tried his luck at playing Super Mario whilst hijab was intellectually hanging the guy. On chapter 4, name it like that. He named it long thing as cosmetic cosmetic. But it seems even Super Mario was burying him as well. Just can't catch a break can he? Apus realised he has absolutely no academic backing whatsoever. Do you understand philosophy at all? Yeah I do and I've got the degrees to show it. Have you, do you, have you got anything to show it? So then he resorted to something that Islamophobes do all the time, which is trying to evoke an emotional response. For this guy, no, no, we, we don't condone it. Look, you're what? childish, childish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're complaining about insulting and then you're doing something is which is insulting. But that did not work either. In fact, it showed something remarkable. Yeah, because Muslims have a very special connection with the Quran. So to see it being ripped up, it's like someone tearing up our hearts. So look at mashallah the restraint and the wisdom shown by the three Muslims on screen whilst this guy ends up you know, just being childish and frankly it's been done before you know what I'm saying it just ended up being cringe. Yeah, It's like a sequel that's rubbish and goes straight to DVD. In fact scrap that it goes straight to audio CD. And after this circus act of his, he tried to go for the sympathy card. You are making it look like uh, I have no right to be angry. And it doesn't matter how you feel. But I'm afraid, mate, your card has long expired, mate. I do rate Muhammad Hijab though because it is quite frustrating when the whole debate is you just educating your opponent on number one definitions. What's the definition of utilitarianism? What's the definition of utilitarianism? What's the definition of utilitarianism? I can have a utilitarian point of view. What is the definition of utilitarianism? I'm asking you a basic question, man. What's the definition of utilitarianism? Still, by definition, genocide, but at least it is not death. So that, that is what you are agreeing with. Genocide. But that is by definition genocide. genocide. Conceivable that apostates, no matter what kind of apostates they are, should right. be. Should be I haven't used the word inconceivable because inconceivable means not possible, right? The sky is only an appearance, only something that we have that we see. No, but the sky in the Arabic language, sorry, can I just correct you on something here? The sky in the Arabic is sama, if you look at the Arab. Number two, putting verses in context for them when they should really have done it themselves. Then check this out. Since your, since your scientific arguments have crumbled and now the philosophical thing has crumbled, my question is what you got left? What you got left for us? What you got left for us? Honestly, what you got left? Bro, you're going to get laughed at, you know, Cosmic Skeptic and them guys, they're going to laugh at you, bro. They're going to say we're going to disassociate with this idiot. Of all due respect, you have not even an A-level understanding of morality. It's Whilst they bring absolutely no academic credentials to the table. Can I ask you a question? What, what are you good at in life? What are you good at? You gotta be kidding me! You have, you have three certificates, right? No, four actually. I, I, could, I, could, currently, I could pay $4,000 to get a certificate in Islamic State. I'd like to go way back now. I, I can brag about, about my... I can brag about my knowledge here too. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. Hey Puss, before you lose all hope mate, Maybe your strength lies elsewhere, yeah? Maybe it's in the physical department. Hey, do you lift, yeah, bro? Do you lift? <laughs> Why is everything so heavy? Oh, God! Well, Apos did try, yeah? I'm gonna give him that. But I think the summary of his arguments can be seen in Slim's reaction. And they said, this is the ruling that we should apply. Sorry, Mohammed Tijab, your suggestion is very nice, but we cannot do that because we agree to this. Yeah, I've made so that. It's just a recommendation. I think this podcast was very interesting because it actually shows the peace, the restraint, and the wisdom that Muslims actually possess. And seeing something that's valuable to you. If somebody comes to your home, yeah, and starts ripping up your wedding photo album or your, uh, you know, family photo album, it doesn't matter what the context is. You'll be furious, yeah. But look at the mercy Islam teaches. That these people that leave Islam, the only respect that they can get after leaving Islam is by somehow still attaching themselves to Islam, which is ironic. You want to leave Islam? Leave Islam. 
yeah that's your problem you're gonna realize that that was the biggest mistake and eventually you'll come back and I pray mate that you do come back but doing stuff like this and expecting us to do nothing that's wrong as well so let's leave it there hope you guys enjoy the video until next time you're in the question <laughs> Salamu alaikum